well in today's recording what we're going to do basically we're going to understand about the ports or the services on palo alto firewall but the question would be where these services would be requiring so for example you may have servers in installed in the dmz we will talk about the dmz when we'll talk about the zones so let's assume there is like a very secure servers are here and these servers are basically isolated in dmz zone now what your server administrator want they want these servers to be work upon non-standard port so what does that mean like working upon the non-standard port right so if we just look upon we have the port range which is 0 to 6 5 5 3 5 right and this is like basically a range for the standard and non-standard port so if you talk about the standard port this is 0 to 1 0 2 4 this is the standard port so what is standard port basically so what happens if you have any services for example web service and in the web service comes like http traffic right and https traffic so these two services the default work upon the port 80 and 443 so this is like a standard port uh, similar to we can have like other standard port like if you have an smtp for the email services that is gonna work upon the 25 so similar to this we have range of services which work upon these standard ports right now the problem with the standard port is let's say there is one of the attacker let's create one of the you know attackers cap and he is trying to you know hack you know the pieces of public ip addresses by scanning the public ip addresses so what they do basically they mostly scan upon the standard port so if this firewall has a public ip let's say this is public ip 1.2.3.100 this is the public ip which is basically using by this server inside let's say there is a server which is using ip address 192.168.10.100 right this ip has nated with this public ip we will discuss about the nat as well later um, in different topic so let's assume this let's, this is three right <laughs> so let's say there is a nat between this private ip address and public ip address so this attacker what they do basically they scan upon the public ip addresses and they mostly look upon the any standard ports are open if between 0 to 1024 they can find any kind of vulnerability or they can see any port is open they can just try to attack on that particular you know port if it is open for port 22 that is something jackpot for them because from 22 they can take the terminal access to the server and you know <laughs> you know what what happens next so the thing is like uh, if they are very skilled attackers like they know what they're doing they're not going to use 1024 until they're going to scan until like 0265535 but most of the beginner attackers they use the standard port scan and they look for if any services is open upon the standard port so what here system administrator or security administrator do basically they open the services upon the non-standard port for example this is one of the web server in your uh, enterprise office they basically work upon the 80 and 443 but they decided not to use standard port but to use non-standard port which is 8080 and 8443 so this is the services basically they have opened into the dmz or private network now they want these services to be accessed from outside if any user is sitting from outside and he would like to use the service then they should be using this non-standard port so what we need to do is we need to open the traffic upon the non-standard port by using this public ip address on the firewall now let's go to palo alto firewall and try to open the services based upon these two non-standard ports at the same time we will assume this one of the public ip we are going to use 1.2.3.100 is going to nat with one of the private ip uh, one of the hundred but let's see how we can achieve that task on the firewall well in order to open the traffic upon the non-standard port we have to go to objects and there are the option for services and service group 
So we will discuss first about these services. But let me show you what is the use of these services by using non-standard port. So let's go to policies and we'll try to create one of the policy and I'll try to make you understand what happened because we have faced such kind of issues, right? So let's say we are going to open traffic upon the web uh, server traffic just for an example and uh, hold on then it's going to be a source source is going to be outside because the traffic is going to hit from outside and the user can be any right then the destination since we do not have dmz yet so let's consider inside as a dmz or the server is sitting in the dmz or maybe inside now the destination address this is the catch because when you are opening the traffic from the outside to inside or dmz this section is going to be come up with the public ip address so for example this section has to be a public as you can see it says like inside or might be dmz so you might be wondering shouldn't be the ip address of the inside or the dmz <laughs> well not because this is something comes from the network address translation we will understand that later so we will have to define here the public ip address instead so let's go to add and add one of the public ip address what we discuss 1.2.3.100 for example this is the public ip address and then let me show you what is the use of services so before using the services let's say we decided to open traffic upon the web browsing because that is something we are going to use as an application right so let's say we decided to use web browsing so this is one of the application available in palo alto let let us find okay let's do one thing let's do the browsing and there is web browsing right now this is something going to be allow and let's see what happens if we allow traffic upon the web browsing now in the web browsing if we just go into the value and you can notice the standard port it says the tcp port 80 so it is going to use tcp port 80 now let me show you what is the issue with by using the standard port as if you come to services and like url category what it says basically it says it going to detect application default so what happens whatever the application you have allowed that is going to use as an application default standard port so it is not going to consider like uh, if you have created one of the application it's not going to work upon the non-standard port which is 8080 or 8443 right so that is something we can achieve from here so instead of adding the application let's do one thing let's remove the application in here now you can add from there as well but let's go to objects and in the objects since we have requirement for 8080 8443 so we need to create custom port right so we went into the objects and in the object there is the services we have to click upon add and then which are the services you would like to create or port you would like to create so let's see there is a requirement for web 8080 for example or you can define any name you want like a tcp 8080 so that it would be easier to understand right so it is totally up to you like uh, what name you'd like to give so hold on let's go back um tcp 8080 and then after that you need to define what would be your destination so this is destination because it's going to hit upon particular server so this is the port 8080 going to be destination and the source port it has to be any because we do not know like uh, the user from the outside what kind of port they are using right it can be anything between 0 to 65535 right so it has to be blank so it's going to be any and we have created one of the port which is 8080 now let's create one more port it's going to be tcp 8443 this is going to be like https traffic now you need to add 8443 in here as a destination i'm sorry and then after that it's going to be source any right so we have created two services in here now let's add these services into the policies so in the policy what we just created 
let's go into the policy and into the services we need to just search for the services what we created so tcp8080 and tcp 8443 so that is how you can create the services now let's say you have like multiple requirement for multiple servers like there are like 20 30 servers are available in your um, enterprise network and there might be you know 10 or 20 non-standard port you are keep creating so the once you start adding all these ports in here this list is going to be very large so basically it's not going to look as organized manner in here so what we can do is we can create the application group and we can add all those ports in there so that is something we can also you know uh, keep like organizing as per the services or the traffic we are going to use so let's consider this particular um, the traffic we're going to consider for the web services so let's go to service group because we are going to create one of the service group and in here let's add web service traffic for example right and then after that we need to add all the services which you would like to add into the group let's say we want to add http https and as well as non-standard port it's, it's just an example but if you have only non-standard port then you can just remove this too right so it would be your whole list of the non-standard port you have to say okay and instead of selecting each services you can go and like select as a group so let's delete this and let's search for the group so this is the group now we have all our traffic upon the web service group so that is how you can create the non-standard ports on palo alto firewall by using the services and service group so this is for now and i'll see you in the next section see ya